I thought it best we meet alone, Edward. I know what you're doing, Crane. Talking to me away from Cobblepot and the others. You're appealing to my ego. Is it working? Ha! I don't have an ego, Crane. I'm far too brilliant. Especially for the likes of you. Of course, Edward. But nonetheless, we have a mutual foe. A foe I could vanquish with but one of my cerebral lobes intact. Yet, here you are, proposing an alliance that would let you bask in my luminescent glory. But what if you failed, Edward? What if, by some underhand means, of course, the Batman were to humiliate you again? Absurd! I know, Edward, it's a frightening thought. How many failures can even your enviable reputation withstand? But if the bat were distracted and tugged in too many directions by too many threats, why, then you would be assured of the upper hand. I... Uh, I don't know how to respond to your ridiculous insinuations, so all I will say is this. Tell me which day you plan to attack Gotham, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, I will coincidentally put my entirely separate and superior master plan into effect. How kind, Edward. I will keep my fingers crossed. Who is this? Ah, Miss Kyle. You have the privilege of conversing with me, the Riddler. Gotham's premier supervillain and intellectual colossus. And I'm honored, Eddie. Really? Bye. Wait, wait. I'll get to the point. I find myself in need of your unique skill set, your street smart, as your intellectually challenged kind adorably calls them. I'm going to adorably hang up on you, Eddie. No, no, no. Listen. I need something acquired, something valuable. Sorry, Eddie. It's just that I have all these clients who aren't insecure little power mad man children. <sighs> Fine. You may name your fee. Information. Ah, the most valuable commodity of all. Scarecrow's planning something involving Batman. I might be furnished with the absurd particulars of his ridiculous scheme. <laughs> I'll get you what you want, Eddie, if you tell me what I need to know. Right, okay. Riddler bot memory formatted. Adaptive AI algorithms uploaded, joints oiled. Now, <clears throat> give my creation life! Ah, damn it! Useless hunk of dead metal. Do you want to become a semi-automated theme park mannequin? Because that's the fate in store for you. Problem, Eddie? Ah, Miss Kyle, <laughs> you're here. And you already have company. Almost, anyway. Did you lose your friend's battery? Why, you... yes. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, anyway, I'm depleted. And always compensating for it, too. <laughs> oh, Catwoman, your wit never ceases to occur. Now, I need you to procure a set of rechargeable energy cells for me. Stag Enterprises' Nimbus Tech will work. I'm sure Wayne Enterprises has an equivalent. Got it. It's been a pleasure, as always, Eddie. Except for the talking to you part. Wait! At least take a glimpse at what it is you're supposed to be stealing. There, in the robot's chest cavity. Go on, it won't bite. Eddie, there's no... <laughs> What the hell? Eddie, make this thing let me go. Batteries? You think I needed batteries? Oh, Miss Kyle, you underestimated my bespoke power supply innovations, and that was your downfall. What is this, Eddie? This is, you are, bait. You see, I've identified what I believe to be some sort of attachment between you and Batman. The base nature of this attachment, quite frankly, disgusts me. But it will bring him here. You'll regret this! <laughs> the world's greatest detective does not frighten me! He's not the reason you'll regret it. 